It's uh, the first time I've competed in a wellness uh, category because I've come up from bikini. Um, so, yeah, really pleased with today's outcome and really excited to do the uh, British Invite next year. End of my season as such, um, after coming off the back of the win from the Britain, um, I was in shape and I thought, well, another five weeks was five weeks. Uh, it's a long time, but I stayed in shape, came here today, was five kilos heavier than I was at the Britain. Kind of like, a bit dubious about my condition, but obviously it came through in the end. Um, as you can see, first place, Sugar Classic. Invite to Arnold next year, Arnold Europe in Spain. And obviously an invite to the British final again next year. So we will see how we go from there. Hi, my name is Sam. I'm competing with UKBFF in the bikini masters class today. I've been competing for about two and a half years. Absolutely love the sport. I'm coached by Showgirl Fitness and uh, Michelle Brannan. Absolutely loving today. Yes, I'm Adam Young. Competing today under 80s category, representing Crayford Weights and Fitness. Um, I do have my own gym up in Kent, but nothing like Crayford Weights and Fitness. Um, yeah, second show of the year this year. Uh, just hoping for a better show this time. Yeah, yeah, I had a little um, bit of a poor showing early on in the year, tried moving up a category. Um, I've dropped back down to my old category this time. Um, things are looking good, tight, dry. Yeah. How long have you dieted for? Um, must be about 16 weeks now. So started quite early on. Um, weren't too sure how things were going to go, trying to move up a category. Um, so yeah, we're, we're about 16 weeks in. Looking forward to uh, getting that cheat meal tonight. What are you having? I've got a little place near me, it's called Richie's Diner in Green Street Green. Yeah, their burgers are the one. <laughs> Cheers for that, man. Hey, I'm Lizzie Slater and I'm from Twickenham, it's sort of southwest London area. Um, I train at Physique Warehouse in um, West Molesey. Um, I've been training now since uh, 2016 um, and the reason why I have got into bodybuilding shows is after quite a significant weight loss. So I've lost about eight and a half stone altogether. Um, so it's, I suppose it's, it's crazy to me that I'm standing up on stage in a bikini um, amongst other people that have also worked equally as hard to, to get to their goal, I suppose. This is your very first show? No, um, so I've competed since um, 2016. Um, so yeah, I've probably done about 10 to 15 shows now. Um, I've taken all sorts of placings in all sorts of different categories. And I suppose I've just, my journey is about finding where my body sits in relation to the criteria of different shows and what the judges are looking for. Um, I've enjoyed really, you know, building up. I think my, my frame can definitely take a larger amount of muscle. I sit just under five foot seven, so I'm definitely looking to grow in the next couple of years. You mentioned that you've had some of the time for nutrition products. Yes, I have. Tell us about that. <laughs> so my local gym, Physique Warehouse, actually stock time for nutrition, um, and I've had the sticky toffee whey and the coconut something. Coconut, vanilla coconut. Vanilla coconut, and it's delicious. Um, I've made mug cakes out of it and in oats as well. It's really delicious. So I started with my coach in May um, and I originally took a slow um, lean down just to be lean for real life um, and then it got to sort of July time and I decided that I really did want to hit the stage. I think I do actually really enjoy cardio when I get going so it's kind of just a natural progression for me to go into a comp prep. 
I don't really have any real food cravings. I feel like the carb up for a show definitely fills me full of the things that maybe, you know, people would normally want on a prep. So muffins or oats. I haven't had oats for quite a while because I've been on a carbless diet for a really long time. Um, I, yeah, I, I'm kind of full of sugar, so I'm actually just craving some meat and veg. <laughs> it's really random. I'm Spaderica. Uh, I'm, an, I'm an over one sick name, so the, the tall, tall girls. Yeah? The tall girls. How many shows have you done this year? Uh, I've done two this year. This is my third. This is my third ever. So this is my first season. I've never, I've never done this before. So uh, it kind of spiralled. My placings were amazing this year. So I, had, I did the Kent Classics, and I came first. And then I did the, uh, the UK Finals, and I placed third, which I was immensely pleased with. And today I came first, which I was like, oh, that's great. <laughs> You done zip Sorry, it. it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's one of those noisy zips, you know. I'm really sorry. It's all right. She's nearly there. She's nearly there. Um, that was the thing. Just put it in the trophy. Sorry. Carry it in the trophy, babe. <laughs> Work life. Um, I think I've been okay. My manager might say otherwise. I'm a personal trainer, and um, I think my clients have all been very supportive and interested. Uh, they think I'm mental. <laughs> they think I'm crazy. Um, I also think I'm crazy, which is fine. Um, it's affected my personal life a lot. Actually, my boyfriend never used to train and then he watched me start prepping and then he was like, oh, can I come to the gym with you? And I went, are you sure? Are you really sure when you want to? And yeah, he's doing great. So I think that it's actually been a positive benefit for my work life because I've learned so much to help my clients and home life has been even better, even though we have less time. But yeah, it's, it's been great, it's been great. What are your clients moving forward now? Well, i um, got an invitation for the Arnolds, which I'm excited about, and uh, I've got to talk to everybody backstage to see if I'm qualified for anything else. Um, but definitely, um, starting tomorrow, bulking up, let's get some muscle on me, shall we? Where's your trophy? <laughs> what? Sorry, oh, this trophy. <laughs> it's just a small one, sorry. I might have missed it in my bag, it was down at the bottom.